Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Planning for Reality and welcome to our challenges video for week 3 of August. I hope you're all doing well and had a great week. Um, I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. Today it's going to be a short and a short video because I only have, I have $25 from my grocery money and I have $5 for savings challenges. I have no coins this week. So thank you to everyone that has been subscribing. Welcome, welcome to the new guy, uh, new subscribers, and thank you for everyone that has continued to support me throughout my journey. Um, I think I will keep them in the binder this week, um, and we will roll into the container. Now there are so many challenges that I want to introduce. I'm just waiting to be in a little bit of a better situation when it comes to knowing my debts my bills um so i'm waiting for that electricity bill to come around so i can figure out um you know my budget a bit better because every dollar i've been having extra um pretty much i have been paying it towards getting out of debt so once i am out of those bigger debts i can really focus on building sinking funds, playing more savings challenges, um, and the, the savings challenges are really for sinking funds and savings. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get started rolling. I've got five of my $1 placeholders um, because I only have five to, to roll. And then we will see how we can reallocate um, like the coins with the notes so that we don't have to keep paper money. Okay. Let's roll the first one. It's number five. Okay, I'll put it this way. Next, oh, another five. My rolling technique is just horrible. Two. Another two. Oh, wow, another two. So only <laughs> number two and number five um, got it. So when it comes to number two, we've got three. So we need to take out two and add the five and color in three. Three. Oh, this one only needed three to be complete. So now that one is done. All right, that one is complete. Maybe we can reallocate that in this challenge, in this video. And roll five got two. So let's go to number five. And that one has got two dollars in there. Okay, and we'll put these away. Just getting organized out loud here. Now with number two. This one was completed, so it's got $5 in coins. Let's exchange that $5 for a $5 note. Put that five in there. All right. And let's write down that we completed it week three of August. That's not the one that I need. August week three. Yay. So we've got 25 there now to, to reallocate. So I'll put that to the side for a minute. Okay. Then we've got the infinity challenge. And last week we landed on blue 25. So I've got my $25 here for my grocery money. Let's see how much is going to go into the Infinity Challenge. Minus two. So we go backwards, I guess. One, two, or green 20. So we need to add 20 and take out five. I don't think that's for me. 
the horn. So now infinity has 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 70. And I think in August week four, so the last week of August, the last stuffing, we will reallocate this one and restart. I think we'll do it on a monthly, how much we save every month, and then we will reallocate it. So that one is now done for today. And we can move into this off to the side. I'm all over the place here. This one will be added to getting ahead. Getting ahead really is kind of like month ahead, but month ahead sounds too overwhelming for me. So when it comes to my bills, I receive government benefits. So whether I work or don't work, I'm still going to receive the money I need for my bills. So I need to be saving for everything else to be okay. So right now I'm saving for getting ahead maybe on groceries or fuel. Fuel, I've started a fuel buffer. So really groceries, um, some of the sinking funds, some of the, bill, the bigger bills like the water, the electricity. So getting ahead is just ahead in general. It's not particularly for the monthly bills. Um, and then at one point I will start saving for the monthly bills because if I do get a job that is higher paying, I probably won't get that much government benefit and I would need to cover it. So we won't stop trying to get ahead. We will just pro um, slow it down once we're a little bit more comfortable and focus on some of the other goals that we have. So now getting ahead has 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And one week's worth of groceries to be comfortable is about $400. Um, I can get away with $250, $280, $300 if I have things in the pantry, if I have extra meat left that's or chicken in the freezer. I can get away with less, but to be comfortable, say I had nothing there in the fridge or the pantry or anything like that, I would need $400 just to make just basic meals throughout the week. So my goal is to get this to 400 first um, as a one week in groceries and then we can think about the rest. All right, so now we've got here $25. What should we do? I know that I have so many goals that I want to achieve and I think I'm going to distribute it to let's I know that electricity last time I stuffed I stuffed half of an icon so I'm going to finish that icon with 10 and make it an even whatever that amount is so let's give it this 10 Um, so now electricity has 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 800, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 8, 40. I don't even think I'm halfway on this one. That's the thing. I've just been at it, at it, but I'm not even halfway. Um... But it's okay. It's okay. We will get there. Okay. I think that's good for that one. I think I want to add something to back to school. I think I'll add also a 10 icon. And then so that one now has 10, 20, 35, 45, 55, 65. And this one is for school supplies, um, 
for example, stationery, so notebooks, pencils, um, water bottles, uh, and lunch boxes if they need them, like if they need new ones next year. And then I will start with uniforms. And the other ones we can add to later. I've just been paying for field trips as they come from my grocery money, but I would like to be more prepared. Uh, the one that I need to also do is school fees because at the beginning of the year they invoice us a, um, a levy payment, a levy fee. So I need to have that sorted too. Okay, and the last five, I'm going to give it to... In this binder, special holidays. So, I think it's face the 23rd. It should be 45 in there, but we'll check. It says it's got 25, 35, 45. Halloween, I don't need much. I could probably get through it, get through it with just buying through with my grocery budget um budgeting in a few candies for it's normally for the neighbors kids my kids don't um like to participate everyone has different thoughts and opinions on halloween but sometimes the neighborhood kids come and knock on the door and i, I want to be able to offer them something um just to keep smiles on the little ones faces so i think halloween i can get away with it the next big one would be christmas and my partner doesn't really he's not a big Christmas person um that was more my side of the family and me so I don't think he will do much for the kids on Christmas so I want to be able to make up for what's like to have a balance all right then I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and sticking around to the end and I hope to see you all in my next video everyone you take care, have a great weekend, and bye for now. Bye, everyone.